This two at lesson activity is in music and focuses on virtual keyboards. You can use a virtual keyboard to play music on your digital whiteboard system. Virtual keyboards can be found in Notebook and in Internet Explorer. Actual keyboards can be used with a wireless QWERTY keyboard or a regular MIDI musical keyboard. So let's see how these work. I'm in Notebook and I'm going to show you one of the virtual keyboards that can be found in the gallery. I'm going to click on the gallery tab and show you where I can find these. I'm going to Essentials for Educators and clicking the plus sign, going to Arts, and then clicking Music. Within Music, I can click Interactive and Multimedia, and then I'll scroll down, and the keyboards are the Musical Notes and the Pitch Explorer. So let's take a look at Musical Notes. I'm going to click on the page sorter up here. In Musical Notes, there is a keyboard that's here, and if I click on one of the notes on the keyboard, I'll be able to play that. Because this is a digital whiteboard system running on the computer, I can also change the volume of the whole system. That can be found down here where I can change the volume of everything to make it louder or quieter. So if that's the sound that is appropriate, then I can go ahead and play that. Now in this particular uh, feature, I can also click the notes or I can actually click on the keyboard in order to get the music that's on there. Another one on another page is the Pitch Explorer. And in this one, when I click on the notes, the notes move a little bit and they also play. In addition, there's a record function on here. So when I click on the record button and then press stop, if I want to play what I just recorded, it will do so. So those are two types of virtual keyboards found within Notebook. I can also choose another program, and this is from Too Simple, and it is called To Synthesize. This is a free demo version. I want to show you what the demo version looks like. It lasts for five minutes before you have to restart the program. Obviously, it's best to purchase the software. I'm going to bring this up a little bit, and I'm also going to minimize Notebook so we just see this one program. And if I want to play the music, I can play the music. I can also change the instruments. So if I want a different keyboard, uh, like a honky-tonk piano, or if I want to go to the strings up here, to a violin, I can also record. So if I click on the record button, I press stop and then I press play. So I can also play different tracks and um, I'm able to do that in this program. So I'm going to click stop or close it. And yes, I want to close and I click OK. I can also use physical keyboards. Um, so those are all different types of keyboards. The first one I'm going to show you is a regular wireless keyboard. And I can move this around in the room. And this is a regular QWERTY keyboard. They call it a QWERTY keyboard because the first five keys, Q, W, E, R, T, Y, six characters, spell out QWERTY. That's why they call it a QWERTY keyboard. I'm going to put this down for a second and open up to it uh, to play. And again, this is also from Too Simple. And in this case, I can actually use the wireless keyboard to play the music. To find out what keys I need to press, I'm going to click this button up here on the top, which is the QWE. When I click that, it shows what letters I need to press or what numbers I need to press in order to play the keyboard. So if I press Q or T, or 7, it'll play each of those. If I want to move up an octave, I'll click the button up here, which is to the right, and it will move the sounds up an octave. So I'll press Q again on the keyboard, and T, and 7. So that's the next octave up. I can also go down an octave. Now if I want to see the actual names of the notes, 
I can click the QWE button one more time, and now I have the names of all of the notes. It is still starting from Q would press the note of C, and W would press the note of D. If I want to see both what the letters are going to be and what the notes are, I click the button up here again, and now I see everything. So if I want to play the note G, all I would need to do is press the letter T, and then I'm also able to play that. I can change this to piccolo, and I can also record what I'm going to play. So I'm going to hit record and and then press stop. And now I'm able to play, and when I click play, you're going to notice that the notes highlight. Faster notes wind up a little together, longer notes or spaces are a little farther spaced apart. So that's another program that you can use that will allow you to um, use not only a virtual keyboard, but also a, uh, a QWERTY keyboard. Now, something else you can use is a professional, let me close this program and click yes and click OK. Another thing you can use is a regular musical keyboard, and in this case I have a Yamaha keyboard. And in order to connect this keyboard into your computer, you will need some MIDI cables, and you will also need a keyboard that's capable of accepting the MIDI cables and those go directly into the USB of your computer. You also need software and uh, software for the drivers and also software that will be able to accept that music into your uh, computer. I have some of that software here and it is Sibelius. Playing the piano and putting it directly into, a, um, into your computer is covered under a different to it lesson activity. If I wanted to play music in here, um, I can also click just the notes. So I can select uh, the notes in here and longer notes if I want to. And then when I click play, it'll play them. And so I can add notes directly into the score and it will start uh, playing those notes. So those are just a couple of different ways of using virtual and actual keyboards. Now it's time for you to get to it.